right, uh, let's use the time we have. It will be a short um, <coughs> talk. Welcome to my session. Drop your Excel sheets forever, hopefully, and I will talk about Drupal native editorial planning. So what you will learn out of this uh, talk is, um, well, Excel is the wrong tool for editorial planning, and I will propose uh, a solution how uh, editorial planning can look like in Drupal and I will present you and quickly demo the module Drupal Content Planner and I will leave you with three takeaways and hopefully we have some time for questions and answers. So my name is Lucas. Uh, I think we live in the most uh, exciting times uh, of all time. Informa information technology is changing everything. Um, I'm the founder of the digital agency in Switzerland. We help organizations make sense uh, out of digital. And if I'm not uh, yeah, thinking about digital, I'm a passionate gardener. I'm not sure about your yield, but my yield was okay this year, except the carrots uh, had a little bit of problems with the carrots. But before I start, let's do a quick exercise together. It's also a way to get to know your, uh, you, and I will explain it how it works. So I will ask you a couple of questions, and if you can say yes, please stand up, and if everybody is ready, we can do the exercise, okay? So my question is, first question is, are you a developer? If yes, please stand up. Okay. Are you a marketing uh, communication manager in your company? No, please keep standing. <laughs> Um, maybe you are SEO, working in SEO, something. Maybe you are working content, social media. Maybe you are C-level, CTO, CMO. Okay. Maybe you work with Drupal every day or on a weekly basis. Okay. So now we do the exercise because we are probably tired and do some movement. Okay, I quickly explain it. Breath in. Go with the air, then go to the left, then go to the right, breath out, and we do it one more time. Feels good? Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, what do we all have in common? except doing exercises together, well, we work with content all day long. I mean, you mentioned uh, your roles in your company, and what does it mean? Well, it means preparing Facebook updates, maybe writing blog posts, creating landing pages, working on Google, uh, Google ad campaigns, press releases, I mean, you name it. And my big question is, we are at the DrupalCon, how does Drupal help us to work with content inside or outside Drupal. And well, the go-to solution or the Drupal out-of-the-box solution is the admin slash content page. I mean, we all know that. But what if, a mar if marketing wants to plan a new content campaign, um, for example, later this year, and how does marketing know where we still have time, let's say November or December for, for a marketing campaign. Or let's say, how does SEO, the SEO consultant know what upcoming articles are there to be, to be optimized? So we have a problem with admin slash context with these kinds of questions. And what is the solution? Well, in a lot of companies, it's Excel. Unfortunately, because two months later, the Excel plan looks like this. <laughs> and I hope you agree that a spreadsheet is not an editorial planning tool, right? So how should it be or how could it be? Uh, I, I did a little bit of research and checked other tools and what we can learn from other tools. And well, WordPress, most spread uh, content management system, what they offer if you install it, they offer a dashboard. So you have a kind of a safe home when you log in, you see how much content you created, you can create a, a draft uh, right from your dashboard, and you can even with a couple of clicks integrate Google Analytics data on your dash dashboard. So you have kind of a safe home uh, uh, when you work with content. 
I know a lot of companies use Trello for editorial planning. Uh, Trello is very powerful. Uh, you can configure however you want. Um, they also have a calendar view. It's a, a uh, you can map uh, y y your tasks on, on the calendar. You can even collaborate on a, on a task, so it's very easy to use and you have a lot of context. A tool I also like is CoSchedule. Uh, CoSchedule is a content marketing planner basically and they put the calendar to the center. So when you log in, it's, this is actually what you see. And you can then plan what they call content projects or projects. A content project could be a social media post or a series of social media posts. It could be a podcast edition or it could be a video or it could be as simple as a blog post. And this is very powerful because you get a lot of context. You see who's responsible for what content piece. Uh, what they don't offer is they don't have a, um, a connection to Drupal. And what they have, they have a connection to WordPress sites. And why I love these three tools I showed you, well, they are collaborative, they are visual, and they are contextual, whether it's uh, like by author, by topic, or uh, by time. And um, what if we, if we would have this in Drupal, and probably these people are already a little bit nervous, because the answer is, we have it and it's called Drupal Content Planner. It's available today, it's uh, um, ready, we use it in production. We started actually this project, Drupal Content Planner, uh, around one and a half years ago. And the main objective was, well, let's create a Drupal native solution for editorial planning, and what does it mean? Uh, it's a tool suite for managing, planning, scheduling, or also rescheduling content. It should be easy to use for non-tech people, mostly editors obviously. It should be collaborative, visual and contextual. One key point is it should be open source, it should be free and extensible, and we didn't want to introduce new external tools, so it should be truly Drupal native, um, uh, leveraging the, the, the Drupal API and the Drupal ecosystem. And today, um, we are still in beta 7, but we want to soon launch a version 1 a stable version. We have three sub-modules. One is Dashboard, Content Planner, and the Content Kanban Board. And I will quickly show you how they work. So let's assume a quick, um, a quick um, example is our, our blog. It looks like a typical Drupal site, but when you look closer, you see there is a new tab on the top, so besides the Manage tab, we have uh, something like Content Planner. So there's a kind of a new entrance to, to your content world in Drupal. And then there are three sub-tabs. One is Dashboard, one is Content uh, Calendar, and one is the Kanban Board. And I'll quickly, quickly um, explain um, the tabs. This is the Dashboard. Um, very simple, it's like six um, panels, six widgets you can place. You can place them freely and now, uh, for example, you have a widget called content status. It's nothing else than mapping um, nodes by workflow state. So you have an immediate view how, uh, how, how much progress you have uh, in your content. Or another widget is very simple, just a list of your editorial teams and who uh, created how many posts or other stuff like activities, who updated what node, uh, what are the next publications and last publications. And the good thing is it's um, customizable. And we have two ways to customize it. One is by um, exposing a Drupal view. So basically you can click together a Drupal view and it just um, expose it as a dashboard widget. So it's very simple to use. The other thing is we created a plugin, you can extend the plugin in code and expose whatever data you like, third-party data, so it's very customizable. The second tab is the calendar tab, and this is basically the core of uh, the content planner module, because it maps your Drupal content to a calendar. The positioning is based on the publish date, uh, so 
you can install it and right away you will see your content efforts um, of the last years basically. If you look closer, um, you see the title, you see, you see the content type, you see the author, you can directly edit it. And the cool thing is you can drag and drop it from one day to, uh, from one day to the other. So it's very, very simple to reschedule and yeah, well, replan whatever you do. Also, it's easy to navigate through the months. Um, so it's very easy to see what's going on in November or December, and then you can plan your content efforts ahead. That's the calendar. And then we also have the Kanban board. It's very similar to what you saw in, uh, uh, in the other tool. So what you see here is basically all the workflow states, the Drupal workflow states you configured, and by column you see the respective content, to, uh, which is in that uh, uh, workflow state. Also, you can filter uh, by user, by content type, you can even do a search. And we integrated per the permission system, so if you are only an editor, uh, you only see your own content. So it's really like a Kanban board. Um, uh, if you work with Chira or other, other um, ticketing systems, you're probably familiar with it. And you can monitor the progress of your content very easily. And this is actually available. Now you, you can install it and use these tools. And I will now talk a little bit about the upcoming features, something we are planning now or investigating on. <laughs> a feature we call editor notes. Uh, basically, on the right side, you have uh, a new section called editor notes, and think about it like uh, post it notes. So, whenever you need to note or have an idea or need some feedback of somebody, you can add a note. And then you can you even have a little discussion section there. So, you can start little discussions. For example, you can ask your colleague, Well, I'm not sure about this paragraph, what do you think? And then you can even resolve it. So basically take away the post-it and throw it away and then it's kind of done. So a very cool way to actually work with content within Drupal. So you don't need to have another project management tool outside of Drupal. Another very similar thing is called editor tasks or just tasks. So basically it's also on the, on the right side, um, just a list of tasks. A task has a title, a, a due date, and also a responsible person. Uh, I think it's very usable because, for example, you could populate predefined checklists. Um, for example, if you have the press releases, you can use uh, populate a checklist and then work on these tasks. Another one is we were we are working on is content preview. Um, it's actually very simple um, functionality. It creates a screenshot of your post. I mean, it's it's like a it's creating basically a screenshot of the website and exposes it in the node edit view. And this helps a lot because you don't have to switch to the node view page and node edit page. And it's very simple to use and helps a lot um, to finalize or, po finalize or polish a uh, post. These are just three functionalities we work on. If we look at the roadmap, um, we are close to um, version one of the um, content planner module, dashboard content planner, content plan, Kanban I showed you. Then we will add some collaboration features uh, like notes, uh, comments, uploads, notification stuff I showed you. And I can imagine a lot of additional functionality um, based on this idea um, well, future versions, we might integrate the social media um, posting. Uh, why not planning your Facebook post in the calendar? And also, why not add uh, additional analytics, real-time analytics, etc. And I had some um, exchange and talks today uh, with the Thunder team. They will also help us to make a stable release, the Thunder distribution team. Uh, they will help us to make a one point zero release as soon as possible and we will we will also make sure it's, it will be ready for Drupal 9. And actually I added this slide um, after this keynote speak uh, this morning because Dries mentioned the, the new um, uh, roadmap uh, for Drupal 9 and especially the initiatives around prioritizing the 
beginner experience or in general improving the editorial experience and why not start a new initiative in for Drupal 9 and maybe use Content Planner as a, as a starting point. Um, I'm not so close to the people in core or whatever, maybe somebody of you can help me to get in touch um, to bring that forward. So three takes, takeaways. First, very simple, go to drupal.org, install the module. The cool thing is there is almost no um, um, additional modules, concrete modules. The only one we need is a scheduler module, and which, which you might already have installed anyway. Then, um, well, use the uh, calendar in your upcoming editorial meeting. Um, just break the silos between marketing, sales, uh, SEO teams. <laughs> just create one dashboard, one planning dashboard around content. And hopefully, <laughs> drop your Excel sheets. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can even wear new um, glasses. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we are actually working on the module on Thursday. And if you're interested to help out, uh, join us. And also, please rate the session. And if you have questions, please ask now. Yeah, I saw the calendar view, and it looks like pretty and nice. But what happens if you have like six items on one day? I know it's not a demo, but can you explain how that works? Or yeah, yeah. The other views on um, super. Yeah, uh, it works with six posts. Um, we have that on our site. Obviously, it doesn't work if you have 20 or 200 posts, uh, which can happen. And uh, one solution is that you add filters, for example, filter by uh, taxonomy or by content type, so you can filter it down. Or the, the solution is basically in to introduce other calendar views. Uh, you know it from Google Calendar, for example. You, have, you can uh, create a, a weekly um, view or even a daily view, so you can even schedule the posts within a day. But then you would add like a button to see more, go to that, so more, or not. Yeah, yeah. O obviously you can do a, a lot of UX tweaks and, and stuff, of course. Nice. Um, it's a similar question, but about many days. At the moment, every, it's one thing happening on one day. But what about if you have like a campaign or a homepage treatment or something that runs for several days? Can, can it be sort of displayed so you have like a block of activity spanning several days? Well, it's basically based on nodes, yeah. and if you have like multiple nodes, you obviously can spread it throughout the week. Uh, maybe I didn't understand your question. Uh, no, I mean, I'm just sort of saying, that does it allow for you to, um, you know, sort of display what the duration of content is over a number of days, and when you're going to take it down, as well as when you're going to publish? Okay. Yeah, I think you're talking about kind of the planning of a phase yeah. or of a, of a marketing campaign or something. This is something we uh, we are working on also. That there is some kind of let's say nodes or uh, that you can mark uh, phases. Um, yeah, it's a good idea, but it's not in in the current version. Yeah. Keep it simple first. So yeah. Does it only work with nodes, or do you, for example, support media as well? Because we oftentimes have scheduling for media. Okay. Uh, actually, there was a patch uh, by uh, somebody who um, um, who allowed to actually any arbitrary entity. So it should work. I never um, used it, but I know at least uh, one project is using the Kanban board for tracking leads. So they're building a CRM around it. But I haven't checked it to be honest. It should work. Yeah. Um, lots of questions, maybe you. Sorry. Um, can it be synced with the Google Calendar, for example? Syncing with Google Calendar? Um, no, not at the moment. I'm sure it could be done. Yeah. Maybe you? Uh, yeah, first of all, compliments. It looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> it's a, I think it's a great win. Um, I was wondering, is it possible also to schedule versions? So you already have a node, and you want for, a, for like two weeks to have one extra line, and then after that, the line disappears 
scheduling versions. Basically, uh, the thing is, it's actually we we using we're leveraging the workflows um, functionality. Uh, I'm not sure if if that can be done with workflows uh, content just moderation. Just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then it should work. I didn't have this use case, but I'm not sure to be honest. Yeah. Any other question? Maybe in the back. Um, the Kanban board. Um, can you unassign the no one is assigned and the editors pick it by themselves topic right now? Uh, currently, it's not possible. Uh, it's, it's basically, I mean, we, we, we reuse the author field of the note. Uh, basically, you could create some custom code where you do the whatever the, the, the stuff. Because you said um, the editor sees only his own um, topics. Yeah. That's why I asked. <coughs> With the current tools, it's not possible like that, but it's pluggable and it's extensible. Uh, so could, you could. Create some custom code to achieve this uh, this functionality. I guess. Yeah. Any other questions? I think we still have time. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no time. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for coming.